Hi, so um, we're gonna try something a little different. Um, we're gonna try out Screencastify today and I'm just gonna kind of redo one of the videos I already made using Screencastify and see if we like it and then we'll move on from there. So one of the features of this is you can actually see me in a little window at the bottom, uh, but let's kind of rehash the things we talked about with the periodic table yesterday. I'll repost this video and then uh, we'll, I will make a second one in a little bit. So. First, we talked about the periodic table in class already. We talked about how to find the atomic number. Uh, that's the smaller of the two numbers usually in the tile. It has the symbol, it has the name, and it has the atomic weight. We also talked about how to find the protons, neutrons, and electrons uh, of the individual elements. We also, uh, so what I want you to do is print this periodic table. I've posted a link in the assignment, and then we're gonna start labeling it a little bit at a time. So step one, is to just kind of get the lay of the land here. So the lighter elements are towards the top, the heavier elements are towards the bottom. So that's helpful. And the, the we talked about the noble gases being on the right side. So over here and the uh, some of the more reactive elements are on the left side. Now, the only thing I really want you to label today is the liquids and gases and the solids. So this particular periodic table is kind of nice. They have the solids all labeled as little boxes. We're not gonna color in those because it's most of them and it would take you a really long time and it'd make it difficult to do other things on the periodic table later. Instead, we're gonna label the liquids and the gases. So good news, there are only two liquids. One of them is mercury. So I'm gonna shade that in kind of blue you can do this using, uh, you can use a marker and go around the edges. You could use a uh, colored pencil and shade it in, however you want to label it. Uh, the other one is bromine. So number 35 and number 80, those are the two liquids. They're the only two that are liquids at room temperature uh, when they're in their elemental state. The other ones are the gases. So the gases are the ones that are going to be in the gas phase. You'll notice they're almost all on the right side. So I'm going to take a moment and pause and label the rest of those so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so now you notice that most of the right side is filled in gray. And then there's one more tricky one on the very, very, very far left. Hydrogen, which we'll talk about why it belongs to that group later, is also a gas. So you need to make sure you label the one on the far, far left a gas. Uh oh. Okay, so that's the big stuff for today. You're supposed to try to get it printed, try to get it labeled a little bit, and then we will move on tomorrow. Thank you.